YouTube. It's Merrick again. It's been a long time since I've last updated. Um, yes, I think the last time I updated was in May. Um, God, I've moved so many times, it's ridiculous. Um, in July I lived at a friend's house. I was crashing on the couch for the month. And then August I moved in with Tej, but things kind of didn't work out, which is unfortunate, but such is life. Um, so now I've been living with a co-worker slash friend for the past, uh, two months, I guess. Um, yeah, things are just kind of settling down now. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of winter in Canada now, or at least in Edmonton. I really don't like it. I really hate winter. So I'm like kind of bundled up in two layers, three or four layers almost. Um, yeah, I don't know, uh, my transition's been kind of at a plateau. It's, um, it's been on and off testosterone, it's been in it for a while. I, uh, was off of it for a good month. Um, it's been three weeks since my last injection as of tomorrow. Uh, I just need to refill my prescription, but my endocrinologist has changed her location and it's kind of hard to get in touch with her. So, that's kind of unfortunate for me, because I don't know how to refill my prescription otherwise. Um, yeah, obviously my voice has changed quite a bit. Uh, I can still go into higher registers, especially when I'm with my uh, roommate. She makes me laugh a lot. We're, we're pretty good friends. Um, saw my top surgeon in June, um, and yeah, I have no idea when anything's gonna happen, because he, uh, does a lot of emergency surgeries, so like, car accident victims and whatnot, so, yeah, I don't know, um, I've been contemplating just saving up all the money, even though in Canada it is funded, um, the only thing is you have to wait a while. So, by the time I have everything saved up, it would probably be the time, or even sooner than when I would get my funded surgery. Uh, problem is, I don't make very much. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to be asking anyone for help or anything, unless it's like the last month or so, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm still like two grand behind. But I doubt that'll happen. <clears throat> uh, so, yes. Hopefully I'll be starting to work up north and making a bit more than when I do at Home Depot, uh, which would be nice. I'm just not sure how I'll be perceived and how accepting they will be. Because Home Depot, they have like a all-included policy type of thing, and so not very many people know that I'm trans, which is great. But up north, because the job was kind of recommended by my grandfather, who doesn't know I'm transitioning, I will probably be seen as female although my voice and body will definitely give me away. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so, I don't know what else to really say. My um, roommate has convinced me to stop binding, which is kind of good and kind of bad, because sometimes I'm in tighter shirts, and there's still a bit of like a bulge, even though I'm very, very flat, and I'm more muscular in the chest area than I ever have been. Um, yeah, it's been good and kind of liberating. Uh, she kind of said, like, well, why don't you just stop binding? Because she thinks I cracked a rib, um, both from being punched a couple of years ago and from binding from then on. Um, and my uh, breathing and back were just starting to hurt a lot. <clears throat> but uh, she gave me this kind of logical reason that kind of clicked and it's like um cis guys don't have to bind their chests and so wouldn't it make you feel more like a guy for not having to bind it instead of feeling like I'm part of the community which I don't really feel like I'm at all um or the I guess the trans brotherhood um generally feel united by getting a binder at first but I've never really felt that much of a connection, and so I've kind of escaped that. 
which is interesting. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what else really to talk about now. My life's just been boring the past two months. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting year, that's for sure. Maybe, maybe not. I just hope I like working up north. I mean, it's going to be fucking cold, and I hate the cold. But I'm supposed to be getting um, money for my grandfather to get uh, good like work outfits, workwear, whatever. Um, but yeah, it can be good, it can be bad. I can only see what happens. I'm just waiting on the foreman to contact me again. Um, he said that he wants a starter apprentice for every crew that they have. Um, but they have to fill their journeyman places first. And so once the journeymen have all been hired, then my name will be going into the list and hopefully I'll be starting soon. I don't know, I'm hoping within the next month. Hopefully sooner because, oh my god, Home Depot is driving me crazy. <laughs> um, we're very understaffed and management is like getting on our asses because we don't have enough staff, which they don't hire. So it's just a stupid loop. But almost everyone I know is leaving and I don't think I want to get to know a new team at Home Depot. I'd rather get to know a new team somewhere I'm making better money and getting a better career prospect idea type thing. But anyway, I guess I shall end this video here. And yeah, peace out.